for example, five, simplify each expression as much as possible after substituting the given term. Assume the data between zero degree and 90 degrees. In part A, the expression is square root of x squared plus nine, and we will substitute x by three times the tangent theta. The square root of x squared plus nine, for x, we will write it as three times tangent theta and raised to the power second. Therefore, we get nine tangent squared theta. And add it by nine. We see nine and nine as a common factor. So we have the square root of nine times the quantity tangent squared theta plus one. The tangent squared theta plus one can be replaced by the secant squared theta. As you recall the Pythagorean identities, the one that we use the most would be cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals one. And the next is one plus the tangent squared theta equals secant squared theta. The last one, one plus cotangent squared theta equals cosecant squared theta. In our problem, we are going to use the second one. So the tangent squared theta plus one is equivalent to secant squared theta. Therefore, we have the square root of the product of the nine and the secant squared theta. With the property in algebra, we know that square root of x times y is the same as square root x multiplied by square root y. In this case, we have square root nine multiplied by square root of secant squared theta. Therefore, gives us a three times the absolute value of the secant theta. Since an angle is between zero and 90 degrees or, or the theta is located in quadrant one. Therefore, the expression square root of x squared plus nine is equivalent to three times secant theta, where x equals three times tangent theta. Next example. X is two times cotangent theta squared added by four. Squaring two times cotangent theta, we get four cotangent squared theta plus four. We see four and four as a common factor. Within the radical, we have four as a common factor multiplied by cotangent squared theta plus one. And the cotangent squared theta plus one is equivalent to cosecant squared theta. Now we have square root of four times cosecant squared theta. Take the square root, we have four times cosecant theta. In part C, square root of 36 minus the quantity for x is six times psi theta squared. Squaring six psi theta gives us 36 minus 36 times psi squared theta. We see 36 and 36 as a common factor. 36 multiplied by one minus psi squared theta. And one minus psi squared theta is equivalent to cosine squared theta by the Pythagorean identities. Now we have square root of 36 multiplied by cosine squared theta. And take the square root will give us six times cosine theta for this expression. Example six. So that each of the following statements is an identity by transforming the left side of this one into the right side. So we use the notation LHS as the represent sending the left hand side and the RHS as the right hand side expression. The technique of this is to look at the expression on the both sides, which one is more complicated. We're going to start with that one. For part A, the cosine theta, tangent theta looks more complicated than the right-hand side expression, which is psi of theta. So we're gonna start with cosine theta, tangent theta, and use appropriate identities to simplify the terms. 
And finally, we should see the same as the side data on the right hand side. Starting with cosine theta times tangent theta. The tangent theta is equivalent to sine theta over cosine theta. After we substitute the tangent by sine over cosine, we can see cosine and cosine can be reduced and will give us the same expression as the right hand side of the sine theta. Part D, we have the left hand side as the quantity sine theta plus cosine theta squared minus one. And the right hand side as two times sine theta cosine theta. We're gonna start with working on the left hand side expression. Sine theta plus cosine theta quantity squared. We're gonna uh, complete the square of this one. So sine theta plus cosine theta multiplied by itself. Use the Fourier technique, psi times psi. We have psi squared theta, psi times cosine, the same as the middle term, and plus cosine squared theta. And note the Pythagorean identity, psi squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals one. So we get one plus, and the middle two terms, they are like term combined to be two times psi theta cosine theta, which is a, um, oh, I missed one, negative one here, minus one here, and minus one here. So one and minus one reduced to be two psi theta cosine theta the same as the right-hand side expression, and we are done. <clears throat> Example six, we're going to show that the left hand side equals the right hand side. Starting with the left hand side for part A, we have cosine theta, tangent theta. We are going to use the appropriate identities applied to this problem and then simplify to get the same term as the expression on the right hand side. 
So the cosine theta times the tangent theta is equivalent to cosine theta times sine theta over cosine theta because the tangent theta is sine theta over cosine theta. After you multiply the numerator divided by the cosine theta, you can see cosine theta and cosine theta can be reduced. Finally, the expression signified to be sine theta, which is the same expression as the right-hand side. In part B, we have the left-hand side as the quantity psi theta plus cosine theta squared minus one. And the left hand, the right hand side is in the form of two times psi theta cosine theta. We're gonna start with the left hand side or the psi theta plus cosine theta squared. Expand this power two. The power two means multiply by itself. The first term, first term, the first term times the first term, we get psi squared theta. The outer times the outer, we get psi theta times cosine theta. M is minus one, minus one here. And then um, the inner times the inner, another psi theta, cosine theta, and then plus cosine squared theta, also minus one. With this, if you recall cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals one, which is one of the Pythagorean identity. So sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is one. So put one here and then plus two terms. They are like terms and combine to be two times sine theta cosine theta and then minus one. 1 and minus 1 cancel. Therefore, we have 2 times sine theta cosine theta, which is the same as the right-hand side expression.